Hi, I'm Lisa Langlois, and I'm here at the AFM. I've got a little bit of cold, so that's why my voice is like this. Uh, I'm working on two things right now. I'm producing a movie called Pandora. It's based on an award-winning Canadian novel by Sylvia Fraser, and it's the autobiography uh, of Sylvia Fraser about a little eight-year-old girl and how she survives her environment, both the war and her home. She's uh, an incest survivor during World War II. Um, I'm also an actor. I took a 10-year hiatus. I came back last year because my son's now 12, about to th turn 13 next year. And I did a film called Relentless Justice, starring Eric Roberts. And uh, we look forward to seeing that. Um, love this interview. Sounds like this is a great program, and I'm looking forward to watching it. Thank you very much. I'm Kurt Kelly for Actors Reported in Live Video Inc. and we're engaged now. Yes. Thank you for letting me know. How long have we been engaged? Uh, just, you know, these days we text one another. Yes. It's just since our last text. Wow. Yeah. And I'm with Lisa texting, but that's not her actual last name. It's pronounced Langwa. It's French. Yes, very good. I have a little French in me. Yes, I yeah. can tell. Very I have suave. A little Irish in me. Mm -hmm. I think my, my family is based on the United Nations. I think we have a lot of. Races running around. Yeah, thank you. You're very American. Yes, and you? Uh, I'm actually Canadian, but I've been here for several years now. Yeah, yeah. so that's made you very You know, we, 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 as Spy Magazine said, yes. Canadians are like Mormons and homosexuals. We really? all look one another, we all look alike, but yeah. we search one another out. Ah. Spy Magazine. I've never heard that before. Yeah, we look actually. just like Americans. Yeah. We, we, well, you actually are. It's kind of like a suburb. Well, you know, they say that we're like Americans on Valium. Ah. Mm -hmm. So does that mean you're faster than we are? <laughs> no, 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 not at okay. all. Oh, no, you're more laid back. Valium, right, that's all right. Right, right. Okay, I have to get my drug of choice correct here. So uh, you act, obviously. Yes, I do. And what was your favorite but, scene? You know, we all do. Yes. Just some of us have SAG cards. Good point. <laughs> And some should get SAG cards, but they're not. That's right. Ah. And some with SAG cards are forced now to work, you know, uh, under the you know table because nobody wants to pay union rates anymore, and they can't survive. Is that where you go when you can't get? Okay. Uh, I you know. They used my to call it couch. Yeah, they used to call it couch casting. Now it's just go. Never mind. So. Um, you have been acting how long from Canada? Uh, I've been acting for 30 years. Right. Yes. Acting like what? Uh, I do uh, feature films. I, I've done theater and television. Right. And uh, I took the last 10 years off to raise my son. He oh, turns nice. 13 next month. Happy birthday next yeah. month. And so um, I'm returning to the screen. Nice. But I'm also producing too, and that's why I like to go to the AFM. Right. It's an opportunity for me to meet face to face with uh, producers that I can't fly in to meet. Right. And uh, show them my stuff and see if we're the right fit and also uh, uh, visit with some of the film commissions to see what deals they have. What part of Canada are you from? Uh, I'm from Ontario. Where in Ontario? Uh, outside of Toronto. I've Rob been Ford's, that area. Rob Ford's okay. uh, town, Toronto. Okay, I've been, uh, I'm from Michigan originally. Oh, you're just so. like Canadians. Well, kind of, yeah. You're just like Canadians. Yeah. In fact, trivia fact, where is the only spot in America where Canada is south of the United States. You know, I, Alex Trebek would know that, right? No. It's a well, Jeopardy he probably thing. could, yeah. What is the question? Uh, what part of Canada is south of the United States? I used to know that trivia. Yeah. Not, I give up. It's a part that Steve Perry in the Journey song called South Detroit, which it's really not. It's Windsor, Ontario. Oh, Windsor, that's south? That's right. It's actually dipped underneath Detroit, Michigan. It's I south didn't of know Detroit, that. yes. Windsor is south of Detroit. Thank you, Steve Perry, for that little trivia question <laughs> there. So, um, what films have you done in the past? Uh, I started out, actually, I was discovered by French film director. He was a new, new wave director with Godard and Truffaut uh, called uh, Claude Chabrol, who died last year. Oh. And uh, he cast me in two films his first English language film, which is called Blood Relatives, and I starred opposite uh, Donald Sutherland. 
and uh, actually with David Hemmings and Donald Pleasance. And you actually have a David Hemmings. Yeah. Does anybody tell you along the eye area here? No, I've heard the yeah. Sheen family, but this oh, is the yeah, first Sheen. time the Sheen Hemmings. Yeah, 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 I can see the Sheen. Yeah. And then um, he subsequently cast me again in a French film that was the official selection for Cannes. Uh, and I started up as an Isabelle Huppert. And then, so you speak French? Yes. But being from Canada, what am I thinking? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Parlez-vous but, Francais? Yeah, but my son goes, he was born here, he goes to Spanish immersion. Ah, yes. I see. Yes, yes. I'm having enough trouble with English. Yeah, don't we all? Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those languages that you can say one thing and it can mean so much more. Yes, yes, yes. So um, what is your new producing project um, it, it, it's, it's called Pandora it's like a, a it's not the radio station you can tune in on the internet or anything I know oh, it's okay. my competition just a thought and, and it's based on an award-winning Canadian novel it's about a little eight-year-old girl during World War two mm. and it's how she survives her environment and actually it's kind of like a 400 blows it's like a so a this domestic isn't about a box flies. either though. no not about a box okay. although you know the secrets do get let out I yeah. see yeah. so Pandora is the little girl from World War to. Yes. And is this an original story, a true story, based on a true story? It's, it's based on the novelist who's now, uh, she's she's had several award-winning novels, but she's now a children's book writer, and uh, she's a, an incest survivor. Oh, my. And it's a and, true story. And what is her name? Her. her name is Sylvia Fraser. Okay. And, uh, you know, one in three people are actually survivors. Um, but, of the war? Uh, well, <laughs> not the just other of the war, war of the, the other war, okay. yes. And, uh, but people are just now starting to uh, come out of the closet, I guess, about it. Yeah, it's like, you know, there are, there's still those topics, homelessness or, you know, insanity or mental illness, incest. There uh, are mental some illness, of, yes. still the D word, depression, yes. right? Uh, homelessness, 42,000 homeless children in, in, uh, on the west side any night. Here in Los Angeles. On the west side, 42,000. And that's just the ones we know about. Mm -hmm. The actual numbers, I think, are substantially higher than that. You would think that as sophisticated as we allegedly are in the Western world civilization, we'd figure a way to help those people out and stop looking down on them, but it hasn't happened yet. You know, lots of times, it's, it, the, most of the time, they, they're, they're, they're not, uh, you know, criminals. They either suffer, suffer from mental illness and they're going untreated. Which they didn't pick. Right, they didn't pick. They're untreated. Uh, we don't have a health care system that supports it. Right. They've had a financial reversal because they have had insurance. Mm -hmm. um, or they've gone bankrupt, or yes. maybe they have alcoholism or drug addiction, which again, and nobody untreated. signs up for them and said, hey, I want to be an alcoholic someday mm -hmm. when I grow up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're right. And, and I, I hope we evolve some time as a society where we can get beyond pointing the finger and maybe use it to invite people in and help out. Yes, but I, I think they're learning that now. I think they're kind of, they're finally learning that, you know, the, these addictions are part of a brain chemistry. Yes, they are. That it's part of an illness just like diabetes or, you know, being anemic. Oh, and everyone chooses diabetes or cancer. Yeah, let me <laughs> sign up for that one too. Right. We don't pick these things. Right, right, right. I don't know right. anybody who had polio who said, could I have this please? Right. It's like a horse, right? But th the difference being that those illnesses, we can actually physically see them right when you have mental illness it's like somebody being a paraplegic and asking them to dance wow they can, good analogy it's impossible for them to dance right they, they they can't even get out of bed they can't they they, they can't manage themselves they, they're impossible in, in, but they know so much more about the brain than they did 10 years ago they have they're you know, they don't have a lot of new drugs on the horizon because there's no R&D right. in the com country because of what's happening to the medical system but let's just hope for the best. Well, it's interesting. I just did a show recently on Actors Eat Chat, and it was about a short called illness. And um, they uh, had a statistic that NAMI has put out, the National Alliance for Mental Illness. I took illness, that course. Where one in 10 have mental illness. Mm -hmm. I actually think that statistic is way the heck off. It is. Because not everybody goes and says, let me get this diagnosed to find out why I'm feeling this way today. Only 20% of depressed people seek treatment. And they're actually the people that are the strongest. Right. Because it's, it's a strength to seek treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and, and sometimes it, it may be brought on by things that can be adjusted through therapy or maybe some, some medication. Um, but we got to get over the stigma first so people stop feeling embarrassed to go seek help when they need it. If you 
break a leg, you go see a doctor usually, you don't have them shoot you yeah, or right. put your leg in a splint right. made out of two by fours. You go seek help. But when people have other things that aren't as easily seen, then we don't treat it the same way. So your film touches on some of these yes. things that we need to address open, openly. Right. And last year, my I guess to end this, you were just... You, I, I got off on a tangent and you asked me what I've been up to. I'm still acting. I started back last year, like I said, and my, I did this film called Relentless Justice mm -hmm. uh, with Eric Roberts, and so we'll look forward to seeing that. Congratulations. Thank you. Great to see you. Nice to see you, too. And, uh, talking. Good thank interview. you for being engaged with okay. me today. <laughs> for that uh, moment. Yeah, well, stay. We're not done yet. Oh, I'm Kurt Kelly for Actors Reporter and Live Video, Inc., and we'll be back with more maybe in a moment.